everybody, welcome back. It's Tash here. I am here today with my What's New Wednesday. We are going to be wearing and trying out the Tower 28 New Sunny Days Foundation. Um, so we'll jump into that in just a second. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. I'm so thankful and so glad that you are here. Along with the people who are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tasha. On my channel, I do all things makeup. I do unboxings, try-ons, reviews. Um, I really try and do upload two to three times a week. I would love if you would join the family, so please click the subscribe button. And without any more talk, let's go ahead and jump right into this new foundation. I have seen several people um, review this already. I do have the color Melrose on the top. Um, I do wish I had gotten it a little bit darker. It was a little hard to kind of figure out the swatches online, but I'm terrible at figuring out the swatches online. So yeah, there's that. Um, let's read just a little bit about the foundation real quick. Um, Tower 28 is supposed to be, I gotta put my glasses on, sorry, a clean beauty, um, or it is a clean beauty brand. Uh, and in here it says, Sunny Days is alcohol free, fragrance free, and non-irritating. It's made with powerhouse skincare ingredients that help soothe skin stressed from UV, blue light, and environmental damage. There's white sage, which is protective and visibly reduces the appearance of redness, prickly pear, which is an antioxidant and reparative, and aloe and centella, which is an antioxidant and soothing. Um, it does have SPF of 30. It is a mineral sunscreen, and they do say it's a tinted sunscreen versus a foundation. Um, it is non-greasy. They say it's safe for sensitive skins and won't cause breakouts, which I really, really appreciate. It is reef safe mineral sunscreen, which also I really appreciate. Um, however, do understand that if you're using this as your sunscreen, you do have to reapply it on a consistent basis. And you would probably need a good teaspoon size amount to get that coverage all over. It does say apply liberally with fingers 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply every two hours to maintain that SPF of 30. So understand if you're using this as your foundation, it is not going to uh, give you sunscreen all day. Mm. I would recommend still using a sunscreen underneath it. Um, it is supposed to be, and let's look really quickly at the Sephora description. I did get it from Sus Wow. <laughs> I did get it from Sephora. It is $30 on Sephora. It is supposed to be a natural finish. It is light coverage. So it is going to be more of a, a tinted um, moisturizer or tinted um, sunscreen kind of thing. Um, it does say though that it can be buildable up to medium. It does have a natural finish. Um, and so let's go ahead and jump into all of these claims. I will say this is not the first time that I am trying it because I wanted to have a little bit of a thoughts about it. Mm. Um, I do think I wore it yesterday all day um, and I do think that it is more of a light coverage, tinted moisturizer, tinted sunscreen kind of thing. Um, it does not set down a whole lot, at least it did not for me, so I did have to set it if I'm applying things on top. I do think though it is beautiful. It is a natural finish for sure. Um, it did actually last fairly long on me, longer than a tinted moisturizer would work. Um, I did not apply it with my fingers. With my fingers, you're gonna get, with your fingers, sorry, you're gonna get more of a light coverage, of course, because you're applying it with your fingers. I use my Beauty Blender, which is my preferred way to apply most foundations. Um, today we'll do half with Beauty Blender, half with brush, just so you can see the difference. Um, it is gonna give you more coverage with a brush or with a Beauty Blender. Um, I did not notice it settling into any lines or wrinkles significantly. Um, I thought it wore really well. Of course, I did get breakdown around my nose and, and different areas where I normally get breakdown, but it did wear away pretty gracefully, like it wasn't splotchy per se. It didn't look awful by the end of the day. The makeup that I applied over top of it was still still there. I actually really enjoyed it. It, it was really, really nice. So let's go ahead and apply this really quickly, um, just so you can see what it 
Time is 10.57 right now, so I will apply it and wear it. I do love the applicator. So this is a plastic tube. You can see the color there on the front of it. And I love that it is this um, hard plastic dispenser with a little tip at the end so you can squeeze out every single drop. It is fairly liquidy. I would suggest shaking it up in the tube before you put it out on your hand or on your skin um, because you do wanna make sure that you're mixing all of the um, good ingredients together in there. I did need quite a bit, so this will probably only cover half my face. I do not have foundation or anything like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do not have primer or anything like that on because with a product like this, more than likely you're wearing it as a tinted moisturizer or that kind of a thing, so not putting primer on. I do have my normal skincare on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this on this half with the Beauty Blender. Um, like I said, I do wish I had gotten it just a smidge darker because I don't think it's quite the right color for the rest of my body, but you know. Things like that happen. It, it blends out really, really nicely. I don't think that it leaves any kind of... Um, that's my dog hacking in the background, sorry. Um, it doesn't leave any kind of uh, marks. It doesn't dry down really fast so that you can't blend it. Um, I think it goes over and evens out the coverage really nicely. Again, I do think it's more of a light coverage kind of thing. So if you have things that you're really trying to cover, you may want to do um, some kind of concealer or um, coverage underneath this. Um, but for just really light wear, I think it is beautiful. So that used just about everything that is half of my face. We're gonna put a little bit more out on my hand and we're gonna do the other side with my brush just so that you can see what it looks like with a brush as well. And it is fairly runny, so just keep that in mind. And so here is the brush. Obviously, I am going to get more coverage with the brush than with the uh, Beauty Blender. I do think the brush, in my opinion, although it applies more coverage, I feel like it leaves, because it is kind of a tinted moisturizer, some streaks, which I don't really appreciate. So you can see, I don't know if you, it's close enough, but you can kind of see on the nose that it's picking up some of the coverage that I lay down from the Beauty Blender on the other side. I don't really like that. So here is the side with the brush, here is the side with the Beauty Blender. I, you might get a little more coverage with the brush, but I think for at the expense of what the application looks like, I would much prefer the Beauty Blender. Um, so I am gonna go back to this and just finish up the nose area and kind of even out some of those spots here from that blush brush. And so there's one light layer all over. I do think that it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing foundation, which I do also appreciate. And I think that if you wanted to, you could add more coverage by adding another layer. They do say it's buildable. Again, I think for what the product claims it to be, it looks really, really nice. Um, I am pretty happy with where we're at. I think the finish looks beautiful. I think it looks great. Um, I am gonna go ahead and apply all of my products. I will say you absolutely do need to set this before you apply other powder items on top because it will catch and it will not blend as well if you don't kind of set it first. So that is one thing. It doesn't really set down, at least not on my face. Um, so let me jump out. I'll finish everything and then I'll come back and check in with you and let you know what time it is and we'll do a full day wear. I'll let you see what it looks like at the very, very end and kind of give you my complete thoughts on this. Um, so we'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, bye. Okay, I am back. Check-in time here, we'll say is 11.14. Um, typically, I wouldn't wear quite a dramatic look, but I had this palette in my hand when I was doing my makeup, and so I went ahead and used some of the colors in here. I haven't used it in a while, hence why we have a little bit of a crazy eye look. But at any rate, here is the check-in. 
Everything blends really beautifully. Again, though, make sure if you're going to put a powder product on top of this, like my powder bronzer that I have been loving is this LYS bronzer. If you don't set it with a powder foundation first, this will not blend out very well. So just kind of a word to the wise, you do have to set it first before you apply anything else on top of it. But otherwise, after you've set it with a little powder everything blends beautifully i have my natasha denona blush and bronzer on today elf wow brow and then of course underneath my under eyes the laura mercier um, under eye brightening powder those are the big things i do have the mac lip oil on we've talked about the palette that i use um, so 1114, I will check in in a couple of hours. Again, I am in Jacksonville, Florida. It is still pretty warm here. Um, a little chilly in the morning, but getting up to into the 70s still and nice and sunny, which I love. So we'll put this to the test and see how it lasts. I will check back in in a couple of hours and let you guys know kind of how it's worn. Um, I kind of have a little bit of an idea already from yesterday, but we'll kind of do another day to test it, give you my final thoughts, and let you know what I think about the Tower 28 Sunscreen Tinted Foundation. So we'll check in in a bit. Okay, bye. Hey everybody, I am back. I am a little bit close and I understand that, but I wanted to be close enough so that I could point out some things really quickly. So it is um, check-in time, or at least full initially was 11, 11, 15 or so. It is about five o'clock now. So I've had it on for several hours. Um, I have to say overall, it looks fairly nice. Um, all of my powder products are still there. I do have to say that this does transfer. So if you do not like things that transfer, understand that this one will. It is a tinted sunscreen, a tinted moisturizer kind of foundation-ness. Um, so it will transfer. The tip of my nose, you can see most of it is off. It is in these wrinkles right here a little bit and some in the forehead. I did forget that yesterday I actually put on some um, primer before I put the foundation on. I did not today. I do think that that actually made a significant difference, not only for how it looked, it is a little further in these smile lines today, um, but also for how it felt. Um, for me, I can be a little bit sensitive to some of the mineral sunscreens that they use. It just makes me really itchy sometimes. And so whatever they have in this one, I am just a little bit itchy. And yesterday when I had the primer on, I was not itchy at all. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it. It created just a little bit of a barrier between my skin and that sunscreen that helped with that. Um, not quite sure. I did was out in the sun today. I was out kind of in the backyard. Um, I did not wear a mask. So whatever has worn off has worn off just from kind of daily life. Um, it otherwise looks really, really nice. It is not matte anymore, of course, but it just looks dewy, kind of natural skin-like. I don't think it looks greasy or sweaty. I think it is beautiful. Um, this is not going to be a super long wearing foundation though. Keep in mind, this is again, a tinted sunscreen kind of thing. Um, it's not something that you're gonna wear for 12 hours and expect it still to be perfect. Although after five, six hours, it still does look really nice, especially with the heat. I've not touched up at all. I've not powdered, I've not done anything. All of my powder products are still there. It looks really, really nice. I will say if you wear a mask all day though, because this does transfer, you're probably not going to get as long of a wear out of this foundation as if you don't have to wear a mask. I wasn't going out today. I didn't have to wear a mask at all. So kind of just understand that that is the trade-off there. I do think it looks beautiful though. I do like this foundation and will definitely wear it on my days where I am not wearing a mask where I am just need a little bit of a coverage, something to just kind of balance everything out. Um, I do think it looks beautiful on the skin. I think the skin looks nice. Um, it doesn't look cakey, those kind of things. So I did really enjoy it. Um, let me know what you guys thought about the foundation. Have you tried it? Are you going to try it? What are your thoughts on Tower 28? I actually really like their idea. I wanna try more of their products. What have you guys tried that you love from Tower 28? That I would love to know down in the comments. Um, so drop me a line. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my What's New Wednesday. I really appreciate you being here. 
Again, I will do another video upload um, that will probably be my ice cream beauty box that I need to get undone. So that'll be my next video. But again, thank you so much for joining me. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.